you do a reverse burnout? That's the cardinal sin. Oh, no. It might have been the reverse burnout that got it. We need a push team. Push team. I guess is what we're trying to create here. So I need to make sure when we go live stream that everybody watching from their own home is like, oh, I wish I was there. So I need to make sure that all the fans here let everybody know how patriotic, how excited they are. So what are the three let What are the three letters uh, of our country? It's it's what, United States of America. What is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we're we're live now. We're live now across the globe. There it is. Hit it. U S. I can't hear you. All right, all right. Let me try one more. Let's do it. Start it over. Start it over. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Real, 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 real quick, Spence. Okay, real quick. We are live around the globe. We are at the one, the only Freedom Factory curated by Cletus McFarland. This is the first ever Danger Ranger 9000. I hope you're excited around the globe with the fans that are here at Freedom Factory, myself, Jared Deanna, Nick Savage, Spicy Spence, Cleese of Fire, Jackson, Jimmy, so many characters. Let me hear you make some noise! <laughs> we are trying to bring Freedom Factory across the globe, and that's what it's really all about. And we are getting prepared. We are just 60 seconds away from our opening ceremonies and our absolute enthusiasm for what is about to ensue. Oh, there it that? is. You I can feel it. Woo! Let's go. Fire me that. up. The, cam the cameras are shaking from the fans stopping their feet. <laughs> Look at the smiles on faces, man. Look at, you know yeah. what? Cletus put some good money and invested into these stands. And you guys are doing just the absolute service that he is expecting. He wants you to absolutely tear it down. Spence, what, what's going through your mind? I'm wondering if we got enough time for a We Will Rock You to get going. You know, a little. There it is. Let's Come go. on, let's hear it. You guys want me to rip it? Yeah. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big nice stain in the street. Gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face. Big disgrace. Woo! Somebody put your bag into your place. Sing it. Fire me up! Right. That's what's up, guys. Wow. There you go. Spicy Spence throwing it down. I had no idea. I, you are a man of so many talents, brother. But a master of none. <laughs> Just got to be honest with you people. <laughs> hey, let's get a wave going, Spence. Let's get a wave going. Starting with closest to the start. Yeah, over there. No, you're left. You're left. No, no. You're no, over. No. No, you, uh, yeah, that way, that way. All okay. right, over there. All right, All right on guys, three, we're going to send it with the wave. Eyeballs on me. When I go up, you guys start, and we're going to rip it all the way down, and then we're going to come all the way back. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three. Send it. Let's go. Come on, come on yes. let's go. Get up out of your going. seat. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Now get ready. They're going to send it back, and all of you guys that were too cool for school, <laughs> All right, sending it back. Let's go, everybody. Hands in the air. Oh, we got a rip curl here in Florida, baby. We got earthquakes. We got all the natural disasters. Speaking of more wrestling anecdotes here, the natural disasters. <laughs> Nick Savage, Spicy Spence, Jared Deanda. Woo! Thank you guys so much. Stop your feet. Freedom Factory. Come on, let's hear it. Let them hear it. Let's go. Woo! So, Nick, I'm getting an update. We are getting our leaderboard set up. Make sure that we have all the scoring and timing properly set to make sure we find out who is going to win here this evening. 
40 Ford Rangers, 60 laps. What's at stake? Obviously, one and two are moving on to 2.4 hours of Le Mans, and I hear murmurs of the winner getting to choose whatever Ford Ranger they want from this fleet. And I think that's exactly what, uh, you know, a Ford Ranger, Danger Ranger 9000 winner wants is just another Ford Ranger. Hey, man. Hey, how can you go wrong with another Ford Ranger? Well, but you're a bow tie guy. What would you do? Put an LS in it? Um, I'd probably have JH run it over with one of his military trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That is very honest. That is very honest, and I appreciate that about you, Mr. Savage. I appreciate that. Man, again, we're just getting settled here. I'm Jared Deanna. This beautiful bearded man is Nick Savage. Thank you so much for joining us here. The Freedom Factory is about to get lit, and it is lit. Thank you so much to Cletus McFarland, his whole family, and his whole tribe that has put together this amazing facility to create just a motorsports, an automotive atmosphere that just feels just very eclectic, bringing, you know, the likes of Vaughn Gitt Jr., Chelsea Denofa, uh, as well as Haley Deegan, uh, Travis Pastrana. I mean, we've seen, you know, the Diesel Brothers boys. We saw, you know, uh, was it, I mean, uh, I mean, so, so many, all, so many different drivers, so many different, so many different personalities. Them. And guess what? We are getting ready. You can see the doors open, the cages, the net windows, the, 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 the testosterone. You smell that? You smell that? That's freedom. It smells like a... Old gym locker? It smells like a <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> Speaking of that, you know, we still have not got a Hell Yeah Brother special up here. Dude. You know, my boy Jared has not ate all day. He's kind of a bigger fella and hey. stature not wide, tall. They call me Nissan Hardbody. That's, that's my nickname. <laughs> the shirts make me look like a fat body. <laughs> you look great. You look great. Again, so, again, the Summit van, this thing debuted, uh, you know, Cletus and Spence, they had some fun in this thing. J Jimmy had, some, had a blast in this thing, and they just decided to cut off the back and turn it into a Ford Ranger. So I love it. you got to love it. The skid pad has been utilized by the winner of the Spectator Battles. Congratulations goes out to Mike Vincent. Mike Vincent, the winner of the Spectator Drag Racing. So congratulations to him, that VR4, taking it to the top. Yep, kind of called that one. But you, you never oh, know. You, oh, you're claiming you called that one? <sighs> Humble wow. bragging, but, you know, anything can happen. Blow a motor, you saw the eclipse, yep. send it to the moon, rod out the block. Night, night. <laughs> Absolute sleeper hold. Sleeper hold is not the, not the way you want to go out. I thought the McLaren was going to be a contender. Kind of slow rolled it, had some issues. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. That car should have been right there. It just seemed like it had some type of issue going on, but, you know, that's racing. That's exactly what happens. All our crew and sa safety staff getting prepped. We're getting ready. We're getting thumbs up. Making sure everything is prepped. The transponder's working because you know, if we don't have the transponders, I mean, we're look not what happened at 2.4 hours of the Mullins. You know, you had Shreddy Life, my boy Blake Wilkie, spun out my boy Brent from PFI Speed. And I'm not going to lie to you, it was too close to call. Yeah. But the transponder being in the back, he ended up getting the win. All right, Crazy. without further ado, if you could please stand and remove your hats. And you can see the freedom ringing out here, and we are getting prepped for the first ever. Danger Ranger 9000. I'm Jared Deanda. Nick Savage is next to Woo. me. Absolutely excited, elated for all of you joining us online or in person. As the sun sets, I bring in my man, Spicy Spence, for our national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched 
were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Spence with the national anthem. Thank you so much. So Fighters. much talent. Let's send it! Let's go raise the people! Spicy Spence with the national anthem. Thank you so much. A man of so many talents, such great looks, and just absolutely an endearing quality. Nick Savage, I mean, you're hyped. Look at the sunset. The, the wind is Beautiful. flowing, letting it go through. The stars and stripes, that is our American flag. The stage is set, and now the action begins. The engines are roaring. It's time to go. The Rangers are purring. The drivers, the anticipation, the excitement, the fans in the building or around the globe are tuning in for the Summit Racing Equipment Danger Ranger 9000. Here begins our Summit Racing Pace Lap. Our Pace Lap led by our high horsepower Van Camino Ranger Danger 5,000? Let's call it uh, 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 a van ranger. Yeah, ranger van ranger. Van? Ranger van. We'll call ranger. it that. Ranger. Summit ranger van? Sure. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> we get our pace lap going with our summit racing. Look at how many trucks. I mean, just absolutely such a good time. Well done by Spicy Spence. Killed it, bro. Look, Love look, it. Look at this sunset, man. There's so many bald eagles flying. The sun's like, I got to go. I got to go. Too much freedom going on down here at the Freedom Factory. Not enough freedom. You can never have too much freedom. <sighs> well, they're about to let it ring right now. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. All right, boys. Here we go. You see the star-studded cast of 3840 vehicles ripping and tearing here. Ripping and tearing. The ripping and tearing. Hey, guess what? Here's some rules. No push bars. Suspension component modifications not allowed. Adjustments are permitted, but the engine and transmission must be stock, not modified. No power outers, fuel pump gas only, no race fuel. We have four-point roll bars, five-point harnesses are required. We've got helmet, window net, no tire restrictions. FYI, no tire restrictions. Driver must be 18 or over, no passengers. Spotters not permitted, so there's no eyes in the sky, Nick. Ooh. You don't have you don't have people saying, "Hey, do this, do that." Steel wheels only, no hubcaps, of course. Anti-freeze is prohibited, no anti-freeze. So we might see some vehicles heat up. Starting grid will be randomly selected. Car numbers will be provided. Dash must be retained, so it has the factory dash. Front and rear glass, so you got your windshield and your rear glass in. All body panels, including bed, must remain in factory position. Looks like it says you can also have a cold air intake. That's okay. Yeah, rear housing and suspension modifications are not allowed, and cooling fans are permitted. Hey, guess what? We are moments away. We got one more Summit Racing Pace Lap. Give a wave to our racers. 40 trucks, 60 laps. They're going to wave. They are waving at you. Wave back. Let them know you love what they are doing. Two laps. Two Summit Racing pace laps. I love it, man. This is going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of live action. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of trucks hitting the wall. I'll tell you what, the first turn is where a lot of it's going to be decided. Coming into that first turn, who's going to go high, who's going to go low, and who's going to go to and fro, meaning down, down below. 
meaning into the grass, could be into the wall. It could be very hectic. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the strategy is. You know, are I'm people going to try to stay, you know, middle pack, try to make an advance towards the front, stay out front all race? Or are they just going to hang back, let everybody wreck each other, and hope that their truck makes it? It'll be interesting to see. Already we're seeing the pace, or so, we're seeing the pace truck go out. This is go. We're going to see a green flag here from our eye in the sky. Here we go. Are you ready to go racing? Let's go, everybody. Somebody is here in Danger Ranger 9000. Here we go. Car number 25 leads off. And that is truck number 25. That is Jason Reisman out front. As we get a Hell Yeah Brother special. Thank you to those young men right there. That's right. Thank you, guys. Woo! Truck number 37. That is Lee Pienzak. 37 now currently sitting in second. So car number 20, truck number 25, Jason Reisman, the Ranger out front. Let's see what he can do here coming out of turn two. So keeping it clean overall. So 30 laps, 30 laps here in this first portion. We'll re-rack him after. And I'm very surprised we did not just we did not see any big any contact kind of mistakes or contact out of the gate. Looks like we got a battle going on here between number two and number three. The 37 truck of Garrett Thompson and the number 20 of Nick Leto. I'll tell you what, the 77, Parker Mitchell there, he's got the 77. That is Teeth and Turbos, Parker Mitchell. He's currently sitting in fourth. He might have a, he, look, look how much clean air he's got. Oh, he's, I'll tell you what, look at this. That, that grouping of all those drivers, that's where the action's really gonna happen. Oh yeah, we got number 12 pulling off here. Looks like we got an issue with that truck. Oh, oh we, got, oh, we got, got some contact. We got a truck on its side. Whoa, oh, turn man. Here four. in turn four, we have a full course red. Let's make sure he's okay. Safety equipment Woo. is priority as we are making sure that he is okay. And quickly, like I said, It's on his driver's side, want to make sure he's okay. Immediate, driver is good, driver is good. Round of applause. We are finding out from safety he is okay, but the truck, the Ranger, is living up to the danger portion of this festivity. And there he is, make some noise as he steps outside of his truck. And we talk about the tires, he's running Hoosiers there, but man, what, what a turn of events. Let's get that thing where the rubber meets the road. Ooh. Let's take a look, what happened? The 1776 goes in, the 22 gets to the side of him, he pushes him. And that is Derek VGG. Oh, that's Vice Grip. That's oh. Vice Grip Garage. He got Squirrely Dan, gets into the grass, re-enters the picture. 22 says not to... Oh, oh no. He did it unprovoked. Yes, he might have got a push from the 22 of Cameron McConkey. Oh, wow. But guess what? Derek Vice Grip Oof. Garage... He ends up on his side. Let's take a look at it real time. Looks like that number 22 just gets right into the side of him. Looks like Vice Skip Garage just kind of goes down low, tries to save it, gets in the grass. I'll tell you what, there was, a, there was a big beef on the Internet prior to this event. I don't know if you saw that. Cletus and Derek. They were having some words. They were they were saying, all right, well, guess what? Cletus said, no matter what, I'm beating Derek at Vice Grip. Painfully like obvious, it. just a few laps in, Derek ends up on his side. It'll be interesting to see. Okay, 
And if a truck's on its side, do we do we call it null and void? Is the truck done for yeah, will the event? Yeah, will able to come back? Bad chat, I, I think this truck is done. Hey, what do you guys think, Freedom Factory? Some live action to start us off here. Well, I don't know if I don't know if you've seen this here, but uh, if, if if look at this, see this, see this. Oh <laughs> man, this right Coming here. Coming in hot. We got Ooh. two hell yeah brother specials, but underneath this silvery foil, yeah, those are hot dogs. So we got some Mountain Dew, we got some hot dogs. Thank you so much, Summit Racing Equipment. This is the Danger Ranger 9000. I'm gonna I'm gonna crush a hot dog here in just a second. Okay, just Love go it. ahead, roll the tape. All right, welcome back. Look at that. The 42 already has some damage to the front end of his vehicle. The 22 getting to the side of the 1776. The grip garage, vice grip garage, truck ending up on his side. Uh, just like I said, I mean, we got we got some downtime, so. Oh, well, there you go. So, Need some well, assistance or you got that? Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> All right, everybody. What do you think so far? It's a pretty good start to the uh, Danger Ranger 9000. Letting it rip. Tell you what, this hot dog, this hot dog. It's got a little snap. It's got some snap. Small snap, but the, the bun and everything, it, it, it tastes great. What's your rating on it? You got to mm. do some bar stools for it here? Just a no. little, uh, okay. No, good. Just, just, just going to. He's just going to eat gonna, it. No, uh, just gonna no eat official the score. And not really rate it. It's just <laughs> it's it's some um, small nourishment uh, it, it, during during our festivities. All right. Well, I love it. All right, everybody, everybody at home, who do you got? Get some side beds together with your friends. Hopefully, everybody's streaming this. Can't tell you last time I've had Mountain Dew. I had one yesterday. It's pretty crisp. It hits. Hold on. Wow, when it hits your lips. Woo! Fire Tell you me what. Up. Wow. <sighs> oh wow. Don't wanna don't wanna tell you the stats on that, but <laughs> I'll tell you Mountain Dew. <laughs> I feel stronger. It's pumping me up here. All ten inch arms. Mm. That was me, the ten inch. He's got twenties. <laughs> Don't 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 show everybody at home, man. You're gonna make me look bad. Oh, bow! <laughs> Woo! Right, looks, looks like, like the, the the truck is cleared, and we are cleared, and I believe we are moments away from racing. All right, Nick. What is, so offshore boat racing, drag racing? Would you be interested in ripping a a Ranger around? Oh, 100 percent. I'd get out there any time, and uh, it'd be Why a Why are you up here and not down there, then? <sighs> maybe it's the hair. Maybe it's the nose. Maybe it's the beard. Maybe it's his voice. Okay. Not real sure, you know. But I've always said just, you know, just stay in your lane, right? Like, know your strength. Yeah, you know, I'm on lots of different race teams, but it's very rarely that I get behind the wheel, but... I'd love to get out here and uh, rip one of these Rangers. Be a blast. Everybody at home, I hope you're enjoying this. We're out here right now. Sun's almost set. Got these new lights at the Freedom oh, Factory. Oh, so good. Such an improvement from what we had before. All the generators we may do. But I'm telling you right now, this place is lit. I mean, Literally. it's litter than a Christmas tree. Yep. Huh. I know that's right. It's litter than Snoop Dogg on 420. <laughs> well, he need about four of those Hell Yeah Brothers. 
Oh. All right, let us know. Everybody at home, hit us on our socials. Who do you think is going to win the Danger Ranger 9000? It's an absolute crapshoot. I feel like it's, you know, a pinata that is Freedom Factory, and you got all these Rangers, and they're the candy, but somebody's going to fall out, and somebody's going to come out on top. It's, I mean, there's so, so many variables that can happen. Yeah, who can last? Whose truck can make it the whole race? That's the biggest thing. I mean, you might be able to make the fastest lap time. You had Alex Bowman. He come out here, set the record, killed it. All it takes, one slam, you're out. You're done. So you can have the fastest lap time, but you got to be able to have the endurance to finish a race. It's going to be interesting to see. But so far, what's some great action? You know, a little uh, Ranger on his side. Glad that he's okay. Yeah, that was wild. Oh, yeah. Well, I just polished off two, two hot dogs. You, you can have the other two. All right, let's see what they're like here. Knock him out. I'm just a mustard guy. I'll tell you what. Need that nourishment. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, truck number 95. Jumping to the back of the pack. Keeping it official, making sure that where the trucks ended up when the incident happened that they get resorted and relined up in the position that they were in. Big muster guy up here. This hell yeah brother getting a couple uh, packs of mustard on here. Let you know what it's like. As that sun sets, what a beautiful night out here at the Freedom Factory. Let's hear it from the fans. Oh, I think we do better than that. Let's go. Let's hear it. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! We are starting to re-rack our drivers and line them back up for our restart here. We'll find out how many laps we actually finished. Hmm. We, we completed only a few laps up until Derek of Vice Grip Garage ended up on his side. And I believe we've already had a few trucks. I mean, just as we started things off, we saw a few trucks already retire out of the gate. But I am seeing 96, Tyler Hewitt, make his way up there. That's truck 57. That's Peter Ruiz. Peter Ruiz looks like he's making his way to the back of the pack. But right now we have a truck on that front straight that is not moving. Not moving at all. Oh, okay, now it's moving. That is truck 14. That is Alex Braunschweig. Braunschweig. I believe Jason Reisman, yes, he is going. And he started out the race in that pole position and has maintained it with just a few laps in. Truck 37, that is Lee Pinezak. And the 77, notably, Parker Mitchell, is currently sitting in fourth. Parker Mitchell, the brother of Cletus McFarlane. Not going to lie. The don't, dog please, has don't. Snap. They don't have snap. I, I, don't, I don't want you to lie to me. Be, be honest and forward <laughs> with me about your hot dog experience. It was an 8.5. That's, that's high for me. It was a what? 8.5. Wow. That was great. 
That's an 8.5 out of 10 on a hot dog scale? Yeah. Holy. More of an Italian sausage guy. Okay. But it was great. Is that your nickname at college, Italian sausage? Uh, Italian Stan, but... <laughs> All right. Now they just call me soft served. <laughs> Savage sausage. I think that's I think that's the new one. Savage soft soft serve. And it looks like we are seeing our starter. We are going to run one more lap. One more lap. I see the white flag is out. That means one more pace lap. So, did not expect a rollover. No, not this and early. just that quickly, how things can change. And of all people, I will tell you, of it being Derek from Vice Grip Garage, of all people, I am very surprised. All it takes is a little bit of contact. Doesn't matter who you are. End up on your side, into a wall. The night could be over. Our Summit Racing Pace van is pulled off, and now we are going to see our green flag. We are going racing once again. Here we go. Our starter getting prepped. We got green flag. Let's go racing. Send it. Danger Ranger 9000. Truck number 25, Jason Reisman, still maintains that lead. Looks Truck like number 37, that is Lee there, sitting in third. And look at Parker Mitchell making after there, sitting in third. Jumps from four to third. Riding it pretty hard. Let's see what he can do coming out turn four. Oh, and 32 retires. 32 Whoa. is pulling off. Truck 32, Garrett Thompson, who was in contention, pulls off. And I think that's going to be the end of his evening. But just as I say, Parker Mitchell, he drops back to fourth with the beautiful black, white, and red, the hood wrench. Connor Vinci is now currently in third. Got the 25 truck going around turn two. Got the 37 trying to make a move on him. Coming out of turn two on the straight. Let's see what he can do. Trying to close that gap. And Nick, mind you, we're only lap five of 60. Woo. There is a lot of racing left to do. So we do have a mandatory halftime break giving you a little bit lay of the land. When we hit that 30 lap mark, everybody will have a standard pit stop that we will take a break and then we will complete out the entirety of the race with the remaining 30 laps. Looks like we might have some problems here with the number 57 just kind of laying back. The leaders running into some lap traffic. Number 25 truck is uh, about three bus links ahead of number 37. The 57 of Peter Ruiz, as you said, having some issues. And there are so many trucks that I, I believe we're going to be seeing some lappers here. That's so, the biggest yeah, thing, is what can they do when they get into lap traffic? There's so many trucks on the track right now. What can they do in lap traffic? Can they make it up? Or can they just broaden the gap? Ooh, 37. Ooh. Drops down on the inside. And oh, look at one. That number one. Holy tank slapper. I've never oh. seen anything like that. Pulls off that into is the grass. Truck number one, Kyle English, and 37 get into it. And 37, Lee, was in contention. It goes into the side of Kyle English, and that thing starts just jumping around like a lowrider on, you know, Santa on Monica switches. Boulevard. Wow. So look at this. Watch 37 go down into one. And Ooh, watch one contact. get into the grass. Looks like we got a caution here. As you described earlier, Nick, it's all about attrition, keeping your truck together. And That's just, the biggest just, thing. It doesn't matter what you did in practice. It doesn't matter what you did to your truck before this event. Can your truck make it the full race, the 60 laps? We're only on number number nine, and already we have four or five that are out. You can see the truck up into the wall. Oof. Yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be hard hit. It hasn't come off the wall. I'm trying to take a look at what number truck that is. Alright. 
LSX Kyle here. And here is the replay. So look there. You can see mid-pack, mid-track. Ooh, gets a contact. Slams into the wall. Ooh. That's a heavy hit. Pretty rough. And with that hit, you could see the understeer, the suspension affected. Oh. Right and that is the wall. truck number two. That is truck number two. That's going to be a scratch for Josh, I believe it's pronounced Reich. R-E-I-C-H, Reich, Reich. Josh, number two, is going to be a scratch as we pull him off the wall and pull him in the pits. Exactly what we expected, anticipated, but at the same time, you never know how it's going to unfold. So the 37 of Lee, Lee 37, he was, he was in contention. He was running two and three, and unfortunately got knocked out. Good, Nick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, number 37, he was making some pretty hot laps uh, in practice. Impressive numbers, but like I said earlier, all it takes, a little bit of collision, get to the wall, you could be done. Endurance. I'm loving it. How many laps is that? Nine. That's Danger that's, Ranger nine? Or is it 9,000? That's, that's it. <laughs> all right, shut Not, it down. Yeah, shut it down. Jared, good seeing you, bro. we got to yeah, go. La la later, doggy. Thanks so much. It's been great working with you. It's the Danger Ranger 9. That's a wrap. No. <laughs> we have so many, so many laps still left, but uh, some amazing racing here so far, and only nine laps into 60. Like we said, we're going to do complete 30 laps. We'll take a mandatory halftime break, check the rubber, check the fuel, and we'll continue on with our entirety of 60 laps. But already, you know, we, we saw Vice Grip Garage get onto his side. We saw trucks go into the wall. And it's quickly, the dominoes are going to start to fall. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it just depends on what your strategy is. Are you trying to go to the front? Are you trying to stay in the back? Are you safe in the middle? If it was me, I'd try to stay out front. <laughs> get up front, let it rip. That sounds great. That sounds great in theory, but how, how do you do that? I mean, you're, you're given this, you know, classic vintage, just this, this Ford Ranger that is a specimen of a vehicle. Well, the biggest thing, when you, when you get into lap traffic, that's where you're going to be able to make up your time. And when you get going, you'll be able to pass, keep going. That's the biggest thing. Lap traffic, anywhere you're at, any type of circle track racing, lap traffic is how you make up when you're coming from the back, period. I don't care what you say. That's how it goes. We're going to see what happens here. Looks like uh, about to get the trucks going again. I think these are going to be minimized there as 16. It looks like that will be a scratch for our truck 16. And that is Lawrence Kearns. That's a, a gentleman I called out early on when we were in pre-grid. Looks a little bit like a Texas flag, but that is all American. The stars and stripes. Oh, look at that. We got the three, the hood wrench truck out front that is Connor Vinci and the 25 Jason is still going for it got that uh, Summit Racing Ranger van just kind of getting these trucks all ready Cletus McFarland, Danger Ranger, 9,000. Summit Racing Equipment. We'll get that side-by-side -side off track, and we'll continue on. Nick, we've seen the Crown Victorias out here, but the Rangers out here, how do they compare? Well, these Rangers are running, some of the faster guys are running like 19.5, 19.8 in practice. Um, they're a few seconds faster than what the Crown Vicks were doing. Um, so these guys got them dialed in. It's just, can they finish? But they're running and uh, pretty impressive for a Ford Ranger. 
we looks got like some step uh, sides. Do you think there's there. an advantage step side versus just a flat flatbed? Oh, I think it's the disadvantage, less arrow. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, because we're that's what we're dealing with here now, arrow, huh? You know, there's a lot of aerodynamics and these Ford Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> when they built the Ford Ranger, they said, we need the slickest, fastest, single cab pickup, small, you know, light duty truck built. Here we go. We got green. Green is go. Here we go. Here we go, Savage. Oh, oh no, like our leader 25. 25. Is he pulling pulls off? off? No, but it looks like we got the 25. He's dropped way back. We got number three coming out of turn four, leading us here. Hey, guess what? That 33, that's your boy J.H. Diesel out front. J.H. Diesel leads the pack. He's got the clean air, but there are 50 laps left. We are one-sixth completed as J.H. Diesel, the 33, jumps up to the front of the pack. With him in tow is that number three, of course, you got to love it, Connor, in that truck number three, the hood wrench truck. That'll be interesting to see if J.H. Diesel can keep this lead. He's got the number three truck right behind him going into turn three. Now, keep in mind the 99 of Cletus McFarland, he is back there in eighth. If you're tuning in for Cletus, he is currently sitting in eighth, the truck number 99. But J.H. Diesel getting a lot of clean air. He's giving himself a big opportunity. But just as I say that, the three makes the pass. Ooh. Let's see if he can hold that going across the finish line, going into turn one. And now Diesel's trying to take that low line going into turn two. And now, Savage, the lappers are coming into play once again. So we can see out front the truck number three with uh, Connor Vinci out front and J.H. Diesel kind of alternating positions back and forth, back and forth as they approach some lappers. But I'll tell you what, the truck number 40, which is the mystery driver, the bald eagle. Well, he is right on eagle. the tail of J.H. Diesel. The Chillin' with Chet sponsor J.H. Diesel truck. And it looks like we have a caution there in turn two. We can see a truck parked up near the bank or just slow rolling it off in the distance there in turn two, now going to that back straight. So Connor Vinci, J.H. Diesel, and Bald Eagle, our secret driver, currently sits in third. So, Jared, what do you think as the cautions come out in the trucks? Do you think they're going to cool off? Do you think they're going to heat up? I think they're, they're you know, they need to keep moving. Once they start, once they come to a halt, that's going to be a problem. So just, just keep the air moving, get them through the radiators, make sure they're good. But overall, just, just keep moving around the track. I, I know think with they the obviously Crown will Vicks, heat up. With the Crown Vicks, when everybody would just strip all the interior the whole night, the cars would get so hot. Yeah. You know, a lot of oh, you're guys. you're talking about the cockpits and the drivers, their comforter. Yeah. Looks like we got a car pulling off here. Little uh, truck there. All right, let's take a look at this replay here, and we can see off in the distance. Looks like he just pulled off there. Not real sure what happened. So we have whittled it down quite a few trucks. We started with 40, and now quickly, I, I got to say, we're probably in the vicinity of, of 30 trucks. I mean, let's see what's going to happen. All right, Nick. I'm seeing our spotter get ready. The green flag is out, and we're going to go racing here as we hit turn four. The flag is out. Green means go. Truck Let's number see. three takes the lead. Can J.H. Diesel on that Diesel number 33? Can he get the jump? Doesn't look like it. Looks like the mystery driver of the number 40 coming out of turn two is trying to make a move on the number three truck. The bald eagle makes the move and drops down. Look at that taking that racing line. 
About to come across the finish line, going into turn one. The bald eagle, the number 40 truck, out in front, coming into turn two. We got Jage Diesel trying to make a pass. Can he move into second place? Back and forth and back and forth we go in. I'll tell you what, if you're tuning in and you're a fan of Cletus McFarland, which if you're tuning in, you are, but I'll tell you what, that Cletus McFarland is quietly hanging out, peeking around the corner, and sitting currently in seventh place. But Bald Eagle is letting her breathe, letting the dog eat, as the kids say, lap 16 of 60. But look at Parker Mitchell, currently 77. Here we go, I talked about this earlier, the Battle of the Brothers. Who's gonna win, Parker Mitchell or Garrett? So that's right, look at, it's Parker Mitchell there in 77, and that's Cletus McFarland in the 99. And Parker gets one up on him, he holds that sixth spot as Cletus McFarland gets into some traffic. Oh, we're seeing some smoke fly. Looks like we got that bald eagle truck, number 40. Oh, a little contact in number two. Lap traffic. What's going to happen? Trying to drop it down, really pushing that number 40 truck hard, coming out of turn four. This seems like this is the longest stretch we've seen without incident. As we are seeing the blue with the yellow, let him pass, let him pass. We have a very busy flag flagger in the crow's nest. Looks like there's about a school bus link behind the old bald eagle and Jage Diesel. Looks like we got 10 laps to go, 10 laps to go. Laps 19 of 60. Remember, this is a 60 lap race. We have a mandatory halftime break. Here we go, we got the bald eagle, the number 40 truck. Coming out of turn two, Jage Diesel right behind him, trying to make a pass. Can he make a dip down to the turn three? Looks like that number 40 is going to be able to keep it coming out of turn four. A little contact, getting loose. And the 88 of Nathan Meske going for it right now. And Nathan looks like he does get the pass and gets in front of the Bald Eagle. Very confusing as we get the lappers, but the 88 Nathan takes the lead over our mystery driver, AKA Bald Eagle. Looks like he's moving out there pretty good. The Bald Eagle screaming, but 88 gets involved with some more lappers. Like I said, this is the longest stretch we've seen without incident. I might have announced or cursed it. That's the true thing that it really happens. Happens quite often, but Nathan right now. Minsky, the 88. Looks like he's leading us right now. Got the mystery driver and the bald eagle machine. It looks like Jay Diesel in number three. We are almost halfway through halfway through this this race here. Seven more laps. Oh, we're seeing some smoke there on that backside. The truck number ten. Truck number ten. It looks like he's having some issues there. That is Austin Austin Flick. Austin Flick. Rolls into the skid pad and has to, oh, it's a flat tire. Oh. Austin Flick with the step side has some issues. Rednecks with a credit score. Nice, well done. I like that. Looks like the 88 of Nathan Messi is out there uh, still sending it, going into turn two. J.H. Diesel is about half a track behind. Number 88 is just moving through lap traffic, no problem. Ripping. Yeah, the 88, Nathan is, I mean, he started in the back of the pack. Nathan was was 38th in that whole pre-grid, and that just goes to show you weight, weight, timing is everything, you know, your moment to strike. But we are just a few laps shy of 30 laps halfway through this Danger Ranger, Summit Racing Danger Ranger 9000. Let's see here if uh, the number 88 truck of Nathan Meske can keep the pace, keep it going. We got the number 40, the bald eagle truck, right behind him, coming into turn three. All right, number we got 88. The, we are seeing the white checkered flag here. That means we are seeing one lap, one lap to go, one lap to go here. 37. That number 88, he's got a good line. What's oh, we got a spin here? there on that back. Oh, we got, oh we got a truck on its top. Let's go full caution on that. That truck on that backside, it hit the grass and absolutely threw it up. Let's not sensationalize it. Make sure he's okay. 
let's lay out, make sure we have our driver that it's okay. Oh, that's James. I believe that is Jack Stan Jimmy. Oh, wow. Have any confirmation? Anything from the driver? Driver is okay. Driver is okay. We are understanding that he is all right. Oh, he's ready to race. Oh, is that that? Yes, that is Jack Stan Jimmy. Give him a round of applause. Let's hear it He's for got Come the on. Bush lattes. He's going to celebrate later on, but is he, oh, he's getting back in line. Fire me Let's up. Let's roll this again. This is how it unfolded here, Savage. Watch this. Coming out of turn four, Jack Stan Jimmy gets Squirrely Dan here. Ferda. Oh, the oh, J.H. Diesel. Diesel. Oh, man. Diesel gives Oof. him a tap on that back left corner, sends him into the grass, and watch this grass say, uh-uh, not today. You're not that guy. Oh. There goes a whole roll of sod. Hey, guys, it's Cletus checking in. This has oh, been insane. Goes. I've never done anything like this in my life. I mean, I thought this was oh. going to be crazy. This is insane. Wow, you guys having a good time at the Freedom Factory tonight? Yeah, I figured. I figured. Just checking. Looks like James. Hey, just this, what do you guys think? Are you enjoying the Danger Ranger? These trucks are falling like flies. Looks like he's going to get back in line and send it. It looks like Jage Diesel, the number 33. Looks like he just barely got into the bumper. Just enough to spin him out. You know, that's what happens, Jared. At the end of the day, you can still be friends. But Rubin's racing. Sometimes you get a little high, you come down low. And it just happens. Contacts happen. That's racing. Well, I know me, do I think that was malicious at all of, of J.H. getting in the side? It, it happens that the, the truck gets loose, kind of works his way up the bank, and unfortunately, Jackson Jimmy was right there. Looks like we are getting our order on how and when the red flag was waved. And it was, it was I mean, we were a lap, lap and a half maybe at most until we completed the first half, the first 30 laps of the 60 lap Summit Racing Danger Ranger 9000. It's been pretty action packed, I'm not gonna lie. It's I'm with it. <laughs> it's going. It's great. This is not what I anticipated, but it's what I expected. <laughs> but just, you, 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 can't, you can't tell the future and how, as Cletus just said, these, these trucks are dropping like flies. Yeah, I mean, who can finish the race? That's the biggest thing. All right, let's take a look at it once again. So, Jack San Jimmy, a.k.a. James Tall, in the 04, J.H. Diesel in the 33. So, look how loose James is. And then, look at, it. unfortunately, J.H., it looks like he lost some traction. And it looks like he, he went his way up, up the bank. Looks like J.H. pushed up the track. James is coming down. There goes a roll of sod. We'll get that replaced. James trying to save it. Ranger said not today. Rolled up on his top. Little flop on his side. Thankful James is okay. But you know, that's what happens. Some exciting racing so far here at Summit Racing Danger Ranger 9000. Jared Deanda, Nick Savage, your tour guides. 
but the real actors and the stars of this race are the Ford Rangers and the pilots behind the wheel. We've seen some amazing and just absolutely sensational crashes, some rollovers early yeah. on. I mean, I mean pre-10 laps, we saw that of Derek Vicegrip Garage go up on his side. We saw Jack San Jimmy, James Tall go on his side. Still in contention, Cletus McFarland, J.H. Diesel notably, but also, you know, we're talking about Garrett Thompson. That's a, a gentleman who is familiar with this track and also want to talk about Kyle Case, who I understand he's hit every wall in Florida at a racetrack, but he is familiar with it, so he is one to watch. Uh, Kyle Case, that's in the truck 61. But we are talking about Cletus McFarland in the truck 99, and his brother, that is AKA Teeth and Turbos, or Parker Mitchell. Well, let's keep around the number 88 car. Well, should I say the Ford Ranger here? He's been leading this race. He's got a really good line. Can he keep it? Will the track make it? Will the truck make it through the track? Will he get in lap traffic? Will somebody take him out? You never know. But what a great night here at the Freedom Factory. These new lights, they're incredible. Huge upgrade from what we had from the generators from the races before. It's been a good night. I mean, these guys are dropping like flies. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> got some contact just right here as we're yeah. trying to pace we'll these trucks, track. you know. And my quick guesstimation is just quickly counting as they drove by, about 28 trucks left. Whew. So we started with 40. You do the math. <laughs> yeah, they're dropping left and right. It all equates to a good time. And, and we had truck number 25, Jason Reisman, who was out front for quite some time, has now, I mean, he's gone back three-quarters of the field back. Well, it'll be interesting to see, can James make it back to the front after going on his top? That would be quite a story, quite a story. All right, so the 88, Nathan out front. How many laps do we have left to go? So Nathan out front, then the truck 40, that is Bald Eagle. Who, who, the Bald Eagle? We don't and even know who that is. He's a mystery man. He just passed the number 88 going down the straightaway, dipping down in the turn oh! three. Boy, we got some contact. J.H. Diesel, the 33, gets Woo! in the wall, gets into Parker Mitchell. Oh, we got a big contact, a big hit there. Oh. We got J.H. going into the wall, slamming into Parker Mitchell, and we are 28 laps into 60. Hey, wait, wait. J.H. better make a comeback here. Unbelievable. I mean, that right there just shows you all it takes. Getting some lap traffic, you can make up a lot of time, or you can just get out of the race. <laughs> Little contact, might be able to make up four or five positions. Watch this or in the back. Done. Looks like JH gets pinched. No, he just goes on oh. the wall. He brings. Who did he bring in with him? Somebody's oh, that was Parker. behind him pushing it. That was Parker Mitchell. Oh. So JH takes Parker, and then he comes back, right hits him back again. In front. Oof. Hey, Teeth and Rangers? Yeah. <laughs> teeth and, oh! teeth and uh-ohs as opposed to turbos. Comes down, and then who was the blue truck down there? That's a 66. The 66 that was down. Oh, on gets Bryce Brown smacked. gets absolutely T-boned by 25 of Jason Reisman. So 66, Bryce Brown, that's him on the inside. But he does limp his way off track. We'll, we'll see if he maintains. We saw Jackson Jimmy. He continued on. I did. And I guess we are completing. That will be halftime. We will end on a caution checker. That is 30 laps completed. We still have another 30 left to go. Wow. Woo. Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stretch. Might do some, you know, might do some yoga here real quick to just. I'm tense. I'm watching this thing. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Hey, you guys having fun out there, Freedom Factory? Let's hear you. Let's go. We are halfway through the Summit Racing Danger Ranger 9000. Nick Savage, you good, bud? You good? Uh, good? 
Oh, man. It I is an exciting it. time here. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll take a short break. When we come back, again, the Summit Racing Danger Ranger 9000 continues. These guys are going to throw some more fuel in the tank. Check the rubber. Check the suspension. Check their minds. The most important is the six inches between their ears, right? So we'll see what happens and what unfolds when we come back here. Summit Racing Danger Ranger <laughs> 9000. All right, guys, it's Spicy Spence. I'm over here in the pits as we see the drivers coming off for that mandatory halftime. If you look here, we see tons of these trucks with carnage on them. We have an unscathed truck right here, but a lot of these are guys, are, the bumpers are, whole, are being dragged off. We got steam billowing out the hoods of these trucks. It's going to be a remarkable second half of the race, but the first half has been insane. I, I, we've seen two flips. What did you guys think of the first half it's of the danger? Um, we, we have all the trucks exiting the field right now. Right here, look at that carnage, Chris. We have a lot of impact going. Um, you know, these trucks are really taking a beating, but let's make our way to the pits. We're going to find some drivers. I really want to find Jack Stan Jimmy. Now, he's the one that just had that rollover on the infield. Maybe we can catch a ride. <laughs> no. Want to go to Parker with me? Yes. Let's go check with Parker to see what's going on. Now again, this was Parker Mitchell, guys, the dentist, teeth and turbos. Parker, you are live on pay-per-view right now. Give us a run through what happened out there. You were running in fourth. You were doing really well. Is that JH? JH. No way. Yes. Oh, well, we had a major collision like that well, lap before, right? I mean, I think we're I think we're done. I mean, the radiator is pushing all the way to the front of the motor, the belt's off. Not getting any cooling, we're leaking coolant. I mean, so you think you're done? Are you? Look at the alignment; it's completely off. So you guys hear that? It looks like Dr. Mitchell, who was running up front, teeth and turbos in the top five for several laps. Was you're that? telling me? Yeah, you were holding number four I mean, position for quite some time. Dude, we can try and yank it with the truck, but you know we're definitely leaking coolant. Yeah, it doesn't look like. You know, Chris, take a look at this. I mean, if you get a close-up shot. The whole fan shroud is pushing against the front of the motor. We slung our belt, and it's just leaking cool and bad. Yeah, wow. All right, let's go ahead and... Okay, got it. All right. Let's make our way back over here. Now, Chris, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Chris? You got me loud and clear. All right. Here we are at the 22 truck, the Ranger Danger 9000. They're doing a front right tire change. Who's the driver of this car right here? What's your name, buddy? Uh, Cameron McConkey with FBK Racing. Okay, we got our cameraman right over there. Hey, man, you took a serious impact, and you actually had an early withdrawal with a flat tire early on, but your truck seems to be running fine. Back up to fourth. Back up to fourth from last. Really? So you went from last place to fourth place, and you're sitting fourth right now? Change the tire, yes. Wow, so you had a tire change. Now, how are you feeling out there? Is it a lot of adrenaline? Is it a lot more? It's, it's crazy out there, and I'm, uh, I'm a little bit on the husky side, so I'm sweating my ass off in there, <laughs> but I'm making do. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, what happened here? What lap did this impact go? Uh, so I'll have a GoPro video, but uh, Vice Grip Garage put his tire on the hood of my truck. Yeah, so you so so you actually hit the gentleman with the first rollover was Vice Grip's garage, right? Yep, I was underneath uh, Derek with Vice Grip Garage, unfortunately. Okay, so you heard that here for the fans at home. This is the gentleman that took an impact early on. Well, good luck out there, man. You're sitting fourth. Let's see a good finish from you. Man, I'm telling you what, you walk up to these guys and they, the adrenaline is is going through the roof. Chris, take a look here. These boys are ripping off. The front part of the truck doing, uh, you know, pit modifications. They're just taking the damaged plastic. Where's my driver? Come over here, buddy. What are you guys doing to the truck? What went wrong? We zippered a radiator hose in the in the last feature, 
And well, we found a radiator hose off a donor truck over there, put it on, I want to full send it. Okay, so you're just getting some pit maintenance done and, and you're getting it. ready to get back out there. All right, man, get out there, drive safe. All right, let's try to find, let's go over here. Chris, I want to head to Jack Stan Jimmy NJH. He was our second rollover of the night. This was probably one of the most anticipated crashes we've seen. And if you guys remember from the Freedom 500, Jack Stan Jimmy had an amazing helmet toss, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was just as frustrated this time. All right, let me get over here. Where's Jack Stan Jimmy? JH, look right into the camera right there. We got the fans at home on the pay-per-view. You quite literally took out Jack Stan Jimmy. Was that a provoked bump, or how did that transpire out on that course? So I knew I was on the lead lap. I knew we were lapping him. He wouldn't get out of my way. I didn't intentionally hit him. He came down on me. I wasn't going to lift, though. Did I think he was going to flip? Not at all. So we're hearing from you, JH saying that that wasn't intentional obviously yes. we're not out here to wreck buddies but it just kind of seems like he didn't necessarily know where you were in that blind spot exactly he probably didn't see me i held my line i thought he was going to give he didn't and that was pretty much it now i want to let you know a little secret uh, we actually had your truck mic'd up at home and we heard you belly laughing the moment you saw that he was he was uh flipped over well <laughs> it was kind of funny to see it over there flipped over uh, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't intentionally do that by any means. Awesome.